Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Let's Play World Waves as Russia. Gonna have to get used to saying that instead of Austria-Hungary. So I made a mistake. We're off way off by my funds, but I'm not gonna try to change it because yeah, it'll make the playthrough a little more exciting if we keep our mistakes in there. I was off by a f well, actually, I'm not gonna explain exactly what happened, but I, I took out a calculator and I mapped out a pretty close final number which would have given me uh, like 23.7 or something like that and I messed it up because I bought one too many I thought I was supposed to get two heavy cruisers or three total additional ones so four total I should say uh, but I was only supposed to get three total so I, I done messed up and then I took out the two light cruisers which should have put me down to about 28 or was it three light cruisers? I forget. Well, long story short, we're at 12 million instead of being at 24 million. So I, I messed it up by a factor of two. And that's a pretty big number to mess up by. But it's not going to matter too much. It just means that I won't be able to min-max my way into a bigger navy as much as I was hoping. So we'll go ahead and I also... Yeah, another reason why I really messed up is because I wanted to build... Not a fort, but I want to start building my bigger dock size. We're really not left with much funds here. So we'll finish building our initial fleet, yes. Oh, that's not good. It's going to give me this same problem. I think, let me double check. I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be happening. Uh, but it is. I had a problem like this, actually it somewhat delayed my series start, but let me just double check. Yeah, everything's fine. The path, uh, the game path was wrong for a while for some reason, but I fixed it, and now I hope that we're not going to have a problem saving. Okay, well, anyways, um, we'll push on, select ships that we want to start with under construction. I think we'll get well, one more of these or two more. How many can we get? What's our monthly build cost as we have to look at here? We have 12.2 million that we can get. This is going to be a monthly build cost of 150. Is that true? No, not, not really. <laughs> yeah, it's not doing that quite accurately, but we still have plenty left. So we'll get... We have a lot of light cruisers we gotta make up space for us. The floor is our rating one. I'll get maybe two more of those. And we'll get maybe like five more of the Vestas. We need a lot. Ooh. I suspect we don't have the funds to start building some of those. I wanted to just go past it anyway though. Will it let me go into the red? No. Okay, well, let's try to see if we can get any of these. The cost is... Oh, my funds are only at 645. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a problem trying to build these things. Should be able to get a whole slew of these guys out at least. And we do need them. Yep. Get a few more. Perfect. So we're cutting it right down, and we should have 5 million. Unfortunately, this is going to leave us with... And not that impressive, I should not have moved that, not that impressive of a list of ships under construction compared to what it could have been if I didn't mess up. But a few mistakes are being made. I don't know why that game bug is coming up. It probably is something I did, but let's see. We can expect our battleships to be ready in about 20 more months. And light cruisers in just about a year. And the mine rules will be ready in only four or five months. That's good to see. We also did want to start with some tonnage on foreign station because I believe that we are probably required to have some in Northeast Asia. Can I? It's not demonstrating it right now, but I just let's just see what kind of basing we're gonna have. It says 540. Yeah, we have massive basing rights. Uh, lots of good ports in Northeast Asia. So let's go over and try to throw some of our units here. And this is what I was talking about with 
not having all of our battleships, they won't all be uh, available in the home waters in the Northern Europe sea zone. I think I'm gonna move out three. Actually, no, I think I'm only just gonna move out two because if we have an indication that war with Japan is more likely, I'll switch a few more over, but the most likely situation, like war with anybody except for Japan means that I'll need as much firepower in Northern Europe as possible. So let's do these. They should instantly deploy there. Let's get, actually, let's get a few ships there. Um, let's see, a Vesta and two Floras. That makes sense because the ships will all be delivered. We'll get two Vestas over there and two Floras. Because all the new Vesta Floras, those are all be delivered to Northern Europe. So we want to make sure that we already have a decent starting supply of light cruisers over there. That's hopefully going to be good enough for now. So let me do this, this, and this to get the sorting the way I like it. Although, yeah, I haven't really dealt with the tabs being open the way they should be. That's fine. Okay, so let's just go ahead and push on. We can't build anything else. So we're done. We are now in the game. All right, so tensions are the highest with Germany, Great Britain, and Japan, and the United States, so it's the highest with everyone. <laughs> uh, our holdings are just in Northeast Asia and Northern Europe. There's no Black Sea holdings for this because it's kind of hard to model. I, I think I saw a note on this on the forums that it's kind of hard, hard to model the interesting complex behavior of the straits leading into the Black Sea since, you know, it, not everyone can get in, not out, so they just kind of pretended it doesn't exist. All the Black Sea ships are just going to be found in the Baltic area instead, so. Uh, okay. What do we want to get done? Well, we're going to create a lot of money for ourselves rather quickly. I don't know why our unrest is starting so high. I don't know if that's a, maybe it's a Russian thing. We want some higher research. Okay, yeah, we gotta set up our research. Okay, we want guns to high, fleet tactics. I'm gonna go low with explosive shells, low with ASW, low with submarines, medium with torpedoes. I think we'll go high with light forces and torpedo warfare, medium with this. Ship design, always high, turret high. Damage control, I'm gonna leave medium. Fire control, definitely high. And the rest of these are gonna get high. Okay, so that's the distribution I'm gonna use. We'll try to keep our budget maxed through that entire game. And Russia starts off with a very simple uh, naval gun setup. Quality zero up until double digits. Very good. And I don't think we have anything else to do. I'm considering whether we should do trainings, but I think I'm going to push our luck a little bit and wait just until tensions get a little bit higher to start training up our crew because we want to try to save a little bit of money. We're doing okay on money right now, but I don't have the funds to con start a construction of a ship, so <laughs> there we go, the first month. And everyone's laying down new ships. A lot of destroyers being built. I'm not going to build destroyers. They don't seem to be very useful. Wow, we have tons of funds now. Svetlana has been delayed. Wow, the USA has already increased naval expenditures. That's nice, nice and quick. Okay, so we have enough funds at this point to start building some more ships. I f have a feeling that these flora classes are gonna be around until the game ends. Um, they're long-range ships, which are very rare. I find that it's just, it's not easy to keep your long-range ships afloat. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard to build them into new designs. Probably these will be too slow to really keep up with us forever. So they'll probably be sunk before I retire them. But let's see, we can get two more. So let's get two more. 
Um, by the way, I will be adding the names at the end of this episode. And like I said, you don't have to worry about it. If you want to be, if you want a ship, if you want to captain any ship, you can always just leave a comment at any time in this. There's no like, uh, I don't think there's going to be an overwhelming demand for ships. So, <laughs> so at any point, if you just throw your hat in the rink, we'll get you assigned captain to a ship. I kind of enjoy the more role play aspects that we've started to develop in the comments. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> you know, sending the orders from St. Petersburg headquarters, etc. All right. We don't need to get too bogged down in this one. We can probably speed along pretty quickly. How many of these do we get? I want at least 20 minesweepers. I think we don't have enough yet, so let's go ahead and build some more of those. They're cheap, and we definitely want them around. They're like only maintenance of 5,000, which is great. I think we should get eight more. I'm guessing that's the right amount. Yeah, we're, okay, I overcooked it a little bit, but who really, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It just means that my anti-submarine warfare will be much more effective. I should mention that um, we probably will be going with a zero submarine mentality. The reason for that is I've kind of like mos uh, nosed over things that's not the right phrase, but whatever. Um, I looked over things on the forum and played around with some stuff. So submarines are really only effective when you can get them in mass. Sometimes I've had these games where I only built like 10 submarines and thought I was special, but those that was actually a really poor use of my money. So in order to get the submarines effective, we saw that in the last playthrough as Austria-Hungary, I was forced to build like 60 submarines. And they're very effective when you get like over 30, I think. That's an arbitrary number I'm throwing out there, 30. But if you get less than 30, you're just paying for ships that don't really hold up their side of the bargain very well. So I'm very scared that we might go to war with Great Britain or uh, Germany. But we lead them in battleships. That's fantastic. We're way behind in heavy cruisers way behind light cruisers and way back well if it gets to be a pitched battle <laughs> if I may use that term with a naval battle if we can actually get um, our ships to the line to face each other we should be in good shape but because they only have 11 inch guns so our ships of the line should be superior if it's like a general war of attrition, then yeah, I hold out a little bit less hope that we'll be successful. And in order to kind of already start to counter that, let's get Rosia. Not that these names are gonna matter as much. After the class name is done, we'll be renaming people captaining ships. So um, that's kind of good. I like that because it saves me having to pronounce some Russian names, which I might just butcher. Okay. More minesweepers. Huh. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Is it 1904? <laughs> no, it's only 1900. Well, I don't see any reason to change our behavior quite yet. So let's go next. Okay. Yes. Well, we could make our first war against Japan. That would be a nice little warm-up for us. I think I want to do it. And in order to do this effectively, we need to divert some more. We only have two battleships. How many do they have? Six. So let's make, let's get um, at least five over to Northeast Asia. Okay, we'll move those guys. We probably should support them with a few more light cruisers. Let me get them sorted by class here. So I already have two floors in Northeast Asia. Let's get a third um, Vesta class, because I mean, our battleships are gonna be really heavily outnumbered. And <laughs> I mean, uh, reverse that. Our light cruisers will be outnumbered by our battleships, which is weird, but I actually have more battleships than light cruisers, so that's not a surprise. It's just not normal. Our researchers are really nailing it, aren't they? Hey, well, there you go. 
that's the way things work you know, in Russia. You know, you complain about it, and then three things pop up. Yeah, and Germany's relations have improved a little bit, so we're looking just really at the rising sun. That's that's the only one that is a reasonable chance of being our next opponent. Oh, okay, yeah, of course we have more ships in there that we can support, they, okay. What, I just, yeah, but I just made it there. I wonder if he's still complaining, because now we have five battleships there, which is a good number. I mean, it's half of our main surface fleet. I didn't bring any heavy cruisers over, and maybe I'll change that now. Let's grab two more. Um, I, this is what I need to look at. How many light cruisers do we have on the way, and how far away from construction are they? Let's see, we have a Vesta in two months, and two Floras in three and six months, and then they're like two years away. Okay, so not that many light cruisers, but we're not likely to be fighting in Northern Europe anyway. At least it doesn't look like it. So let me grab two heavy cruisers and let's just grab another Vesta. The reason why I'm specifically picking on the Vestas is because they can't move. Whoops. They can't move once um, war is declared. They have the short range. So if we want to move them, we have to move them now. This is going to mean every single Vesta I have, except for the namesake of the class, is going to be in Northern Europe, or Northeast Asia. But that's okay, because we'll, there'll be some more joining the Northern Europe forces soon enough. So we'll get those guys over there. Yeah. I'm still pretty happy about this. Okay. Tensions haven't ri risen enough. Okay, we got to continuously build new docks. We have enough money to probably build some more of our light cruisers. Oh, a lot of things actually happened here. Okay. Um, I mean, this goes against what the Dreadnought era is all about, but we can now have heavier secondary batteries. I probably won't be following that. And here's active mine warfare. <laughs> so this is uh, the tech that we get a bonus in. We've got it. So we'll build the new dock sizes. We'll continuously keep these building, try to keep us relevant in the arms race, so to speak. Let's take a look at how everyone else is doing. So we're at 17. We're way ahead of Germany at 15, 13, 18, 18, 10, and 14. Yeah, we're doing good. Not that we're going to design a new ship quite yet, but uh, at least we're keeping up with our dock size. And now let's actually build those some more flora classes because no, sorry, Vesta classes, because we have the money to do so. Yeah, two point. this is not even that much. We can get more than this if we need. I might actually build just a few destroyers, uh, just to pretend that we care. And let's keep going. Okay, well, better destroyers, but not important for us yet, like I said. Torpedoes, we didn't even focus on the research for those, but they're still getting along. And Japan has actually come down. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. You know what? This is interesting. Austria-Hungary. I think it would be better to call an international disarmament conference. I actually do think this is tr this is going to be our best move. An alliance with Austria-Hungary is so inconsequential. Okay, that was probably the best result. Still, we have a whole bunch of battleships out in Asia. Well, this is like the least interesting gun document for me, but I kind of like to buy these just because it takes away one of the things our research could be wasted on. So we'll go ahead and take it anyway. It doesn't really make sense. It's not necessary. It doesn't benefit us, but at least 
at least if our, you know, if the naval gun technology triggers, they shouldn't pull quality one 10 inch guns for us. Okay, moving on, we're in middle of 1901 now. The Vladimir. A shooting competition. Yeah, I will definitely do this. So that will probably bring the Avrora, Av, oh gosh. Avrora, I think it's supposed to be Aurora, but in Russian, but I don't know how to say that. And now she's elite status, very good. Imperator Alexander III. That's a nice sounding ship. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? No. Well, this is going to increase our unrest, and that's... <laughs> it was already high enough. No, it didn't increase our unrest. It certainly changed up the tensions landscape. Okay, better machinery, that's good. Japan has 11-inch guns. What is going on? Okay... Now Japan's back up. <laughs> this is certainly interesting. Well, we have a lot of money. We're going to have to keep building. I think our F. Staffy class is decent enough. It warrants building a few more. And we could definitely get away with it. It's They're pretty cheap. You know, when you consider a monthly, I mean, monthly maintenance cost of only 230, that's pretty good. It's going to take a while for them to get it here, but... It's good to always be looking towards the future, so that will help us, you know, maybe in the next war, if not, I mean, the next, next war, if not the next one. In a similar vein, I think we'll get another two of these. And let's get a lot more of our raiding class ships as well. No, maybe just three. And I'll sleep on that for a little bit. Du -du -du. Curb our naval program. What the heck? That's tantamount to surrender. Our naval strength is a question of national honor and pride. It sounds like a pretty Russian response as well. Yeah, let's do that. Wish there was a way to turn off research or make it even lower than just low. <laughs> So now our tensions with the United States are high. That's not going to be a fun First Nation to fight, but if that's what the world wishes, then, then I guess we'll put our nose to the grindstone and see if we can defeat them. Mm -hmm. Pretty quiet. This has been a nice, easy start, I would say. You know, we're to 1902 and nothing really has happened. Hey, double bottom already, wow. Oh, now we have up to 10 inch caliber guns uh, on our secondary wings. Remember, pr previously I could only get the uh, 7 inch guns. Now if we went back to build a new heavy cruiser, we could get um, wing configuration. Although I still prefer the cross deck fire. Okay, fire control, pretty important. You know what? I don't want to go to war with the U.S. The tensions is nice, but because it increases our budget, but I just don't think it's worth it. We can't afford the prestige loss, though, so I'm, ah, that's kind of a pain. Okay, I probably should have said that that was... I mean, I probably should have complained about the U.S. doing that. And it didn't even help our tensions, for crying out loud. Starting to hit a groove here, making some good progress. Our monthly bu balance, monthly budget is back up. I'm gonna build some more minesweepers. The reason why I think this is a good ship is because it's a good investment into the future. You're you're never going to improve the design. The design of your minesweeper is as it is now. It's not going to change for the rest of the game, so it's not a waste. Let's get four more of those. <laughs> It didn't really dent our budget anyway. What else can we get? 
the destroyers, in my opinion, are the the least, the worst example of that. They're gonna, you know, have the least longevity. And I think these floras actually could. It, it's really gonna be nice to have long range ships. Let's get a few more vestas and floras. That has the added bonus of not having so many months to complete. Okay, now the United States is somehow the worst <laughs> offender. Okay, now everyone just hates us, or what? This is a real dance of tensions. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to have to fight. Now it's back to Japan. It's kind of like a horse race or one of those carnival games where you had to spray water into the clown's mouth to move your horse forward. <laughs> They're all just jockeying for position. Yeah, we'll take that technology for sure. Okay, let's see here. What is going to happen next? We're getting a lot of our ships back. Should help with our monthly balance as well. All right, I don't want to lose ten, um, prestige, so... We will complain about the spy, learning from our mistakes. The Neva, the Almaz, Rinda. Oh, interesting. Well, I definitely don't want to go to war with Great Britain. No, I definitely don't want to lose prestige, so we'll just do this one. In fact, out of everyone who I'd like an alliance with, I really liked Austria-Hungary having our alliance with Great Britain. For two reasons. One, it actually forced Great Britain to lose ships in wars that we fought. Now, they did technically gain a lot of territory that they didn't really fight well for, but um, it was kind of cool to see them lose ships. The Nepper. Okay. Periscope. Well, I'll take it, but I really don't care about that. <laughs> And I, th I think we've gone far enough. So this has been a fun journey, three and a half years into the 20th century, but not much to show for it. We'll do one last turn just so I can get my normal one last, one more turn complex out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it anyway. I don't mind spending the money. I don't know if it works or not, but Okay, we're doing one more turn again. Well, if that doesn't look a lot like our ship... Hmm, they went up for deck two inches, though. Wait, I don't understand, actually. Where is this ship getting its such low weight from? This doesn't make any sense to me. 22 knots, 45. Okay, let's just try to design this ship real fast. Let's see if we can get this same light cruiser to exist with our given technology. We might be slightly behind, but let me see if I can get anywhere close to this. 4500, 22, 2226. Let's just see. And it has two submerged, 8 and 10. All right, let's see if we can do that. I didn't see what kind of fire control it has. No, it has um, central range finder. So let's design a new ship. This will be the last thing we do for this episode. Auto design is fine. Um, it was 4,500, 22, 2, 2, 4, 2. I'm going to assume 2, 6 inch guns, speed 22. And they had 10. Yeah, it's definitely doable. Kind of makes me think that our designs are a bit silly then. <laughs> you know, I was so proud of them, but we're spending like 5,700 on ships that... Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, this is eight guns. Yeah. Hmm. And they actually use Central Rainfinder, so we have 150 tons left over, in fact. Uh, it should be in casemates, actually. I guess it doesn't matter since it's secondary turrets. Hmm, interesting. So maybe it is time for us to start updating our ships. But on that kind of cliffhanger, 
well, I'll contemplate it off camera. So this is it. We'll save the game here, um, wrap up for the time being, and then we'll jump back with episode three, where hopefully we'll figure out which of the nations is going to be our our next conflict, or our first conflict, really. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.